I messed up my focus. I need your help again. God, I knew it. Today is decorating day and I'm so excited. I've laid all of the inside decor on the table, including all the brand new stuff that I made. I'm gonna show you exactly what I ended up gathering from around the house, not piece by piece, but just an overall generalization. And then I'm going to divide it by space. So the three rooms that I know I'm decorating inside are the living room, this dining room, and the bathroom. So for now, I need to work on separating everything that I've pulled for inside decor by room. The things I've gathered are some books that are on color theme or have spines that look really interesting. Uh, some fall flowers from around the house or from bundles of flowers that I've bought on garage sale. Um, anything that we pulled from the Etsy bin or the decor bin that we've already gone over. I pulled some fillers, some moss and some little like weird botanical things and some shredded paper. Some other things that I pulled are these cigar boxes that I have on hand. I use them for all the different seasons. Um, these are just the spare ones that weren't currently being used in any decor. I've got these two pieces of wood. I think one of them is from Joanne's, the other one is from some weird project my mom's neighbor gave her. I don't recall where I got this, but I have a few of them. They are, um, it's just a little round placemat, but I figure if we needed a mat for something, I could use this. And I do have a few more, so we may end up pulling them out. Um, a cake stand in case I need it. This is one of my more fun ones. I get these when they are seasonal sale at Target, so it was really cheap. I think that's it. I think you've seen most everything else, uh, whether it was something I pulled from the decor bin or whether it's the stuff that I created the other day. So now I'm just going to go through everything and kind of separate by the three different rooms like we talked about. And I know that the bathroom is a little brighter and a little fresher. So the stuff in there is going to be things that are a little bit brighter white versus kind of that toned down white that we achieved with the pillows. So. Let me get that stuff separated and then we will get to actually decorating. So this should be fun. based on the rooms I think and I kind of have like general groupings of the way I want to do it and I think I'm just gonna start with the bathroom because it's actually the smallest room it's the easiest one to get out of the way and if I decide I need something else that's small or whether I decide I don't want to put something in there it's gonna be the easiest one to kind of figure out from that point the dining room has just a few spaces to decorate and I can determine whether or not there's something I need to pull from the living room or give back to the living room as far as decor is concerned. I think that's the order I'll do things in. Bathroom, dining room, then the living room. So let's get started. Since this bathroom is really, really small, the only space I have to do is right here above the toilet on these shelves and maybe a little bit on this wall. One of the other things about the bathroom space is this is where I've decided to put a good portion of the Etsy things that I've pulled. The reason for that is this bathroom doesn't get used very often. It's away from the cat, so I'm not worried about anything breaking. And this bathroom has that bright, like, crisp vibe. So I think that those things are going to work really, really well in here. And I'm excited to kind of do this bathroom for Halloween. I've never done it before. So we'll see what it looks like.
the old antique like medicine bottles and stuff in here, it really kind of flows together and feels more like an apothecary feel in here. So I love the fact that these things are in here. I think they're really cool. And I didn't really have to take down very much of the bathroom decor that I currently had in here. So I love the way this turned out. I'm really jazzed now to see um, how the other spaces come together. So let's work on the dining room. Just like I did in the bathroom, I'm not taking down any of my major decor. I'm just replacing small little bits of it to add the Halloween spin and the Halloween flair onto the decor that I've already got in the house. You guys already know I worked really hard in this room to get it exactly the way I want it. So I'm not gonna take anything down and rearrange my entire house just to make it happen. And that's something that I really wanted to make sure that you guys knew too, is that you can decorate for the different holidays without completely redoing your entire house. Just by taking little bits and pieces and adding them to the decor you have or swapping out one like thing for another. For instance, I'm gonna take this weird little Dracula statue and swap it for that funky little squirrel that's up there right now. And that's just a really quick, easy swap to make to give it just a little spin, a little something else to change it up a little bit so that it's a little bit of fresh decor for you. You're not staring at the same thing all year long. Just my two cents, but I wanted to share with you guys exactly how I do it and why I do it because I'm sure that you are on YouTube all the time and you're like, oh my God, these people are literally taking everything off their walls and putting up brand new things all over the place. And I've seen YouTubers do that and it's just so impractical. It costs a lot of money to do that for one, which I don't have. There's no reason you should have to spend a lot of money. There's no reason you should have to put in hours and hours and hours of work just to do it when you could just swap out a few little bits and bobs. general idea of what I want to do on this table and it really kind of spawned from these old like party decorations I had that were like vaguely food related. This centerpiece is probably the most involved thing that I did for decorating in the whole house and it's one of the most elaborate centerpieces I've ever done in my own personal home. It actually reminded me a lot of a centerpiece you might see at a macabre wedding or like a goth wedding, and I am absolutely in love with how it turned out. But to do this berry basket, I used the black fluff because it was cheaper to put in the bottom of that and then just cover the top of it with some moss before I put the little skulls in. And I think that the black Easter grass was really a good filler for both the orange pumpkin basin and the blackberry basket.
these candles really brought the whole thing to life and just kind of gave it a little bit something extra. Now, I did have to be careful because I put fabric on the table, but I think it looks incredible. I know we just did this wall behind me and I'm not going to change it too, too much, but I am going to add a few things and swap out a few of the things that I have on this um, TV stand and up on the wall for some other things that will just bring the Halloween into this room. question yes this is exactly what my couch looks like at the end of every day because apparently all of my couch pillows are fort building material when you're 11 years old just like when I was cleaning one of the biggest pieces of furniture in this room is the couch so it has a potential to make a big impact right now I've got these bright blue cheery pillows on my couch I'm going to swap them out with all of the black and Halloween themed pillows that I have and that is actually going to take this room and really transform it. The first thing I did when I was redecorating this space is I actually removed the rug that was there and put in a more neutral looking rug. And you'll notice throughout um, your time watching me here on YouTube is that I actually like to store things in the space that they belong and just kind of hidden out of sight versus taking them to another room, forgetting they're there and then never bringing them back. So ideally you would store everything that you need in the space that you normally use it in. In the same vein, I took the couch pillows that I had on the couch already and used them to stuff the pillowcases that I was bringing in here. absolutely love the way everything turned out. I'm really happy that I got to do this video for you guys to show you how it can be very inexpensive to do decorating for the different holidays. If you are not subscribed to this channel, please do so. Give this video a thumbs up and comment down below what your favorite thing that I decorated today was. As we all know, mine is the dining room table. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye.